uh, which triggered more. And that brings us, thank you, Iris Machler. We'll be checking with you later. To our first guest, we're pleased uh, to welcome uh, Yehuda Glick. Uh, he uh, is uh, somebody who has uh, uh, long campaigned uh, for Jews to be able to pray on the Temple Mount uh, inside of uh, the old city. Uh, you're a member of parliament uh, for the ruling Likud party. Thank you for being with us on France 24. Shalom from Jerusalem. Shalom from the city that is celebrating today and bringing great light to the world and to mankind. You were present at that ceremony uh, earlier. I was. Um, uh, your thoughts on what you just I was present uh, on what you just heard there. What, uh, it was I, a I ceremony was, for Jews. It was a ceremony uh, which I will have an impact on all of mankind and all humanity. It was a ceremony expressing thanks to God for the miraculous uh, events that we are witnessing these days uh, from le leading, le led by President of the United States of America, Donald, Donald J. Trump, and led by the Prime Minister of Israel, Mr. Netanyahu. Uh, finally, uh, Jerusalem, which has been the capital of the people of Israel for the past 3,000 years, finally the nations are be starting to become, speak uh, relevant words and recognizing the obvious that Jerusalem which has been as the capital of the people of Israel for 3,000 years, is finally the nations of the world today, the modern world, are beginning to recognize the obvious that Jerusalem is the capital of the Jewish state and the capital of the Jewish people and the biblical capital of God of the world. And that is something that was definitely a, a great event, and therefore we, we heard a lot of speaking of thanking to God and a lot of uh, expressing uh, a great excitement that finally, 70 years, exactly 70 years after the establishment of the State of Israel, the world that took it some time to recognize the State of Israel is now taking its time to recognize the uh, centrality of the capital of the State of Israel, Jerusalem. So, uh, the, the, uh, s uh, as you say, re recognizing Jerusalem, and, and uh, you're adding to it that religious side to it. Israel founded as a Jewish secular state, is it no longer a Jewish secular state? Israel was founded as a state which represents the uh, uh, prophecies of the prophets from the Bible, uh, materializing and becoming a reality. And the prophecy, prophets spoke about the return of the Jewish people home, and that happened, and it's happening in great numbers. They sp the, pro the prophets spoke about settling all over Judea and Samaria, and that is happening, and has happened. The prophets spoke about Israel uh, returning to Jerusalem and to the Temple Mount, and that happened and is happening. And the prophets spoke in the next step about the nations recognizing Jerusalem and Israel as a light to the nations, and that is happening starting today. And therefore, it's a turn point to all of humanity. If in the time of King Solomon, we saw kings all the way from the Queen of Shiva coming in to, to, to expl uh, be, exclaim the, uh, the, uh, the greatness of God and the greatness of his people and the greatness of the city of Jerusalem, now we see President Trump. If 70 years after exile, we saw uh, Cyrus recognizing the rights of Jewish people to build a temple, now we saw tr uh, President Trump opening a, a, a process where it will, will be followed by many other countries of recognizing Jerusalem as our capital and has been our capital and has actually haven't, has been the capital of the state of Israel ever since it was established. Our prime minister sits here, our president sits here, our government sits here, our Supreme Court sits here, okay. our parliament sits you, here. Are you describing, are you describing, you're describing Jerusalem as capital of Israel in religious terms. Where does that leave those who are not Jewish? I, as far as I know, the Bible is a bestseller in the world, been translated to more languages than any other, any other book. Billions and billions of people believe the Bible. And when we see with our own eyes the words of the Bible uh, materializing and becoming a reality, we have no choice but to, to see that, that, that either you can believe it's a coincidence or you can rationally say that, it's, that, that where the words of the prophets are actually happening and it's, we're seeing uh, the, the hand of God. So you can choose. Those of you who believe in, in, in coincidences will think that the canceling of the uh, evil Iranian I agreement and the meetings between uh, North Korea and South Korea and exactly on the 70th uh, anniversary of Israel, the, the establishment of the, of the embassy in Jerusalem. Those of you who want to refer to it as coincidence are welcome to do so. Those of you who want to look at a rational uh, uh, analysis 
themselves analyze it rationally will see that the ambassador, David Friedman, from the United States of America, is representing a beginning of a new era, and a new era in the redemption process of the return of the Jewish does people that to new Israel. Era mean that it's the end of the, does that new era mean, uh, uh, Yehuda Glick, that uh, it's the end of uh, what your prime minister still on paper endorses, which is a two-state solution with the Palestinians? Anybody who knows and recognizes it from close, the Middle East knows that the two-state was never a solution. Two-state was, was part of the de deepen deepening the problem. Anybody who sees the Palestinian Authority led by anti-Semites like Abu Ab Abbas, anybody who sees what's happening in Gaza, where the people, the Palestinian people, are being taken hostage, are being kidnapped by their leadership in order to, to, to actually be a suicide bombs and to, to try to destroy the state of Israel, know that a two-state solution was never a, a solution. It was in deepening, uh, deepening So you the believe problem. in a one-state solution? Finally, let, me, let me ask you this, Yehuda Glick. Let, let me ask you this, Yehuda Glick. You, you, don't, you don't believe in a two-state solution. Do you yes, think yes, Israel listening. should be a, officially a religious state? I don't, I don't speak about religious non -religious. I speak about Israel is, happens to be a state which uh, represents the materializing uh, of the uh, words of the prophets from the book. And those people who believe in the book around the world know that Israel is a light to the nations. You, it doesn't have any question about what, whether you're a religious person or you're, you, 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 you demonstrate religious behavior or not. Believers of the book, we know that billions and billions of people, Jews, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, Sikhis, Zarathustras, ba Baha'is from all over the world who believe in the Bible, uh, believe that, that we are, what we are seeing, you just have to read the book and you see it happening. And that's what's exactly what we see in front of our eyes. The words of the prophets are becoming a reality. And you can like it or not, you can think it's a coincidence, but that those are the facts. The prophets said that the Jewish people will come back home. There is no one, parallel one to that for in you, uh, of mankind. Uh, Yes. Ye Yehuda Glick, you yourself uh, live in a uh, Jewish settlement in the West Bank. Why don't you live in Jerusalem? <laughs> uh, I live uh, because the state of Israel has, met, has, has many settlements, and I chose with my family to live in, in Otniel, which is not far from Jerusalem. It's a 45-minute ride from Jerusalem, and uh, it's part of the, Ju the Judea area. And I'm very proud to live there. I don't. Uh, no, nobody. Ha everybody. Not everybody has to live in Jerusalem. But I definitely do come to the Temple Mount, which is the world center of peace. And I do encourage people from all all people who believe in God to come to the to the world center of peace called the Temple Mount and turn the place instead of being a place which is a world center of incitement and terror, like the radical Muslims want it to be. Turn it into a place of of tolerance, of respect to all human beings, and turn it into a place of a world peace. And that is where we're leading to. We're leading to that no more, no more justification for terror, no more blaming Israel for terror. From now on, the, per the people to blame for terror are the terrorists and those who incite them. And that is what we're saying today on the table. No more justification for terror and violence. Yehuda Glick, a member of uh, the Knesset, the Israeli parliament for uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's Likud party. Many thanks uh, for joining us here on France 24. Thank you very much, and many, many blessings from Jerusalem celebrating today the light of the universe.